Hi, my name is Dee. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a pause task rule to coordinate fulfillment lines of an order that are running in different orchestration processes. To begin, I'll navigate to the Manage Orchestration Process Definitions page. Now this orchestration process definition is set up to automatically pause processing after the shipping step is completed. The start after condition is the rule that dictates when to apply and release a pause task. I'll create a default rule that releases the pause on all lines immediately, and another rule that indicates the conditions under which the specified lines are paused. I need to select some advanced settings. I want to make sure that the default rule is evaluated first, so I'll choose Highest Priority. Here I want to declare business objects, so I'll choose Advanced Mode. I'll enter an alias for the header. I'll delete the test of the condition so that the actions in the then region always apply. Now I'll create the then statement. I'll select my target and conditions. SAC result is the response to the runtime evaluation of the rule that I'm creating. Now I need to select my target and join the SAC and header.sac result references. I want to make sure that even if the condition is true, the pause is released immediately. Now I'm going to create the rule that states the conditions under which the task must pause. I'll call this pause rule. The rules are reevaluated until the conditions no longer apply. I want to keep the default priority and I'll use advanced and tree modes. Now I'll select my root. I want to replace my default value with an alias, and I'll also delete the test as I did for the default rule. Now I'm going to add a condition. An object declaration with one or more conditions is called a pattern. I'm going to surround the pattern with parentheses. Now I'll select there is a case where, because I want all shipped lines to pause even if one line is still not shipped. And I'm going to add another alias here. I want to coordinate fulfillment lines across multiple orchestration processes. And I'll add a test here. Now I'm going to create the condition that says if the actual ship date is not set for at least one of the lines, then the process must pause. Now I'll create the then statement for this rule. And here I'm selecting the action that I want. I'm going to require that the associated lines are reevaluated until all are shipped. Then, all the lines will be released so that they can proceed to the next orchestration process step. I have to use quotation marks around the Y here. Now I'm going to select the type of start after condition I want to use. I finished creating the rule. This rule will take effect when I deploy the orchestration process definition. For more information, consider these additional resources. Thank you.